In today's video, I will show you how you can copy a jam in Google's Jamboard. My name is Seti and welcome to another flipped classroom tutorial. Now I love Google Jamboard and I use it all the time in my classroom. Not only do I like how simple and easy it is to use, I love that you can write on interactive whiteboards using the included stylus options. In addition to this, the laser pan makes it so much easier to explain things when you're not in the classroom physically. Sometimes I have lots of images, little notes, and even some drawings that I'd like to share with another group. Now there is no menu or a copy function within in Google Jamboard. So in order to copy your jams, we're going to have to apply a little URL trick. Now, here we are in Google Jamboard and I've opened up my first jam. Now here you will see I have a jam open for a year three class, but I have multiple year three classes and they all need access to these same files. Now let's say that you'd like to copy this jam. Well, the first thing you'll have to do is find the URL at the top. Now you're going to look for the last slash that you can find and then behind that you'll find either viewer or edit. Go ahead and highlight all the text behind that slash. Now you're going to replace this with copy. So go ahead and type copy and then simply press enter. Once you've pressed enter, you'll be prompted to create a copy of your jam. Now when you've created a copy, you can rename this and then when you go to the main Jamboard interface, you'll see that you now have two versions of this exact same jam. This copies every single slide within the jam. It copies your notes, images and drawings. So this is incredibly useful when you're working with multiple classes or different groups. Now another great use of this trick is when you've got a brainstorm in class and then you want your students to go off individually and finish it by themselves. Well what you can do is use this exact same trick, replace the end with copy and then share that link with your students. This is going to prompt them to make a copy and that copy will then be owned by their account. Once they finalize their own personal brainstorms or their projects, they can reshare the file with you. Now, I hope you found this tip helpful. If you did, scroll all the way down to the description and let me know how you are going to use this trick. And then when you scroll back up, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And that notification bell is important because that is going to make sure that you receive all future updates and videos from this channel. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.